BJP Mahila Marcha leader says Hindus should gang rape Muslim women and she gets expelled. Sunita Singh Gore, leader of the BJP party, Mahila it, Marcha. Not, uh, not the leader. I think it's one of the leaders, right? One of the leaders. Yeah. yeah. Um, it says leader of oh, okay. uh, in our in our thing. So in Uttar Pradesh's Ramkola has reportedly been removed from her position after she posted on Facebook mm -hmm. that Hindu men should enter Muslim homes and rape the women. And quote, there is only one solution for them, Muslims. Hindu brothers should make a group of 10 and gang rape their mothers and sisters openly on the streets, then hang them in the middle of the bazaar for others to see. Uh, um, and that's wait, actually and then, Wait, what rape them and said. then leave them, leave them in the middle of the bazaar? Uh, yeah, that, that was just a, a little quip it uh, that I was supposed to read, but I would like to read her entire statement if that's okay. By the way, you. before we continue, we just have to point out that she was immediately expelled right after doing this. By the Absolutely, Beijing. she was. Yeah. Yes. Because a lot, <laughs> see, we put this as we, we posted this and we mentioned that we're going to be covering this today. And so there's so many like it's in the news that she was expelled. Oh, look, it's actually in the title that she was expelled. I was going to. I was going to say that why do they expect everything to be in the title? Like uh, we're going <laughs> to cover the fact that she was expelled, but I can but it's actually in the title as well that it was expelled, right? So I I mean a lot of there's so you have no idea how angry Hindus are getting over every time we have something against Hinduism or some Hind something I they have become I I have discovered that Hindus on average, are way, way, way more sensitive than Muslims. And I cannot believe that because I thought you cannot get more sensitive than the Muslim community when it comes to criticizing Islam. But, oh, but this but, woman. <laughs> okay. The things that she has said, okay, I would I would love to read this read whole it, thing. Read it, read it, read whatever it, everything she There said. is only one solution for the Muslims. Hindu brothers should make a group of ten and gang rape their mothers and sisters openly in the streets, then cut them and impale their vagina. Ah. and hang her in the middle of a bazaar for others to see when Muslim women won't be able to get out of their homes when these piglets will correct themselves. If we need to protect India, then Hindu brothers must barge into every Muslim home, making a group of 10 to 20 and gang rape their women. There is no other way. Yeah, that's, that will solve things. What is that supposed to solve? I mean, all that is is pure hatred. I mean, what is what is she trying to do by by what she, what does she think will happen after they do this? And, and she Mu starts off saying that this is the only solution for Muslims. So I what she is calling for here is she's saying Muslims are the problem. She's saying that we have to rape their. Well, I mean, their Islam mothers. is a problem. Just to be clear, Not, Islam is Muslims. Yeah. Though I mean, right, her attacks against the people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Islam, Islam is a problem. The best way to fight Islam, I always say, is to befriend Muslims and talk to them and try to invite them to alternative ways. But I just don't understand what she is. What does she think will ha like the way that she that her actions? What does she think will happen? Like Muslims are going to be like what? They're going to be like, oh, I guess we should change our ways. Like I after convert. I'm gonna con they're gonna convert to Hinduism. Like th like I mean. I mean, she she grew up in grows up in a place where religious tensions happen all the time. She must know that these things make this kind of behavior will make things a lot worse. I mean, she's yeah. I mean, she she got elect. How does she get a position? She can't be that big of an idiot. She must have have a different strategy for saying this. Like, I'm trying to. I mean, she's she seems evil, but I'm trying to figure out if she's. But she can't be that stupid. So I'm trying to understand what was she thinking when she said this. Is she just trying to... Because we have to be... You, ha you can't just assume everybody's an idiot, right? You have, to try to, you have to try to see what their motives are, assuming that they're not stupid. So I think she was just trying to f feed into this anti... Because in India, anti-Muslim um, you know, views are growing really, really fast. And I think she was just trying to get more popularity by going, saying something that would get her 
more attention than anyone else. She tried to Donald Trump it, but yeah. she went too far. She went a little bit too far. Even even the BG, the BGP, which is very much likes anti-Muslim <laughs> policies, they were like, "Ooh, that's it. That's too far." <laughs> even for us, you know, we can't know. Like they were like, yeah, "Okay, we do anti-Muslim." You know, but not like this is a bit too far. Right. For us. So they were like, "Nope, sorry, we have to let you go." So how long did it take for the B- BGP to get take get rid of her? Like, was it immediate? It really was immediate. immediate. So she she posted this. Um, people got screenshots of it. She immediately removed it, but um, she was removed from her post June twenty seventh, which. Uh, was when this was posted right so you will is agreeing with me he's saying she 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 was probably she was probably thinking that this headline would make her popular among voters yeah again you uh, if you if you think about their motivation it usually is it's not as stupid as you think it's as evil as you think but it's not as stupid as you think right i mean it's taking advantage of stupid rather than being stupid right um if you actually think about the right if you think about the motivations being helping india or fighting islam then you're like well this doesn't solve anything and you they come off as stupid but if you realize their actual motivations is to just get more votes and become more uh popular among bigots then you're like okay now i see what she was doing that's what i think right but this like yeah. what, how what did how did she, how does somebody even think these things right like i can't like where does the amount of hatred you have to have for somebody to suggest that we impale women by their vaginas and hang them in the middle of a bazaar for others to look at. I mean, that that takes a lot of cultivating. That takes... Right. This, is, this is woman is fucked up in the head. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Like fucked up in the head, and like she's she seems like really hateful and evil. I don't understand. Like what has she? I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> like what? It, what? It, what is she thinking that she's not? If she's okay with saying these publicly, I'm scared about what goes on in her <laughs> head that she's not even telling us. Um, Michael right. is saying such a lovely religion. Frank is saying keep your fantasy to yourself, please. Uh, Jill is saying a sad state of affairs in the so-called biggest democracy in the world. Uh, here, so, I know somebody. Um, somebody that I can't pronounce their name, I think from India. Let me see, from India. Yeah, I think from India is saying we are sorry. Don't be sorry just because somebody is from your country doesn't mean you're responsible for what they sa- did. Okay, a lot of you know. I again, every time they have both extremes. Some people keep defending somebody and India, no matter what sh- shit happens, they were like. Oh, fake news, fake news, this is fake news, this isn't happen. you guys are just trying to make India look bad. That's extreme, no shit, hap- ugly shit happens in your country, own it and try to fix it. But then we have the other extreme, <clears throat> some people are Indian and they are apologizing for things that they did not do. And like, oh, I feel so ashamed for being India, oh, I'm India, I'm so sorry for this. You didn't do this shit, like, why are you apologizing for something you didn't do? Like, I don't, just because it's... You're, it's from your own country. Like, don't... Yeah. Anyways, both sides... Are, both of those uh, views are extreme, I think. Uh, yeah. Let me see what the live... Ch- did he... Anything in the live chat? Some su- suggested that we do a group chat about... Um, about Hinduism and the anti-Muslim yeah. stuff that's we going on. We should have on. a guest. We should do that. We should have a guest. So, Pumps, you should come uh, on a live stream with us and talk about it. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, right, is saying, since uh, since the last six years, Hindu communities have made sensitive, have made sensitive, it's the BGP religious politics. BGP are giving uh, a reason for Muslims to hate and invoke people to violence. It helps. B- yeah, I think, actually, it helps the BJP the more... Muslims do extreme shit like if there's more like I think they're just waiting for Muslims to do do attacks so I think they, when they attack Muslims they're hoping that Muslims respond with their own attacks so that they they could take advantage of the fear that a lot of Hindus have of Muslims um so I know like I know a lot of them know that this anti-Muslim uh, narrative and a lot of the anti-Muslim stuff that is happening is not going to help. 
it's actually going to make Muslim extremism grow in India. But I think that they want that because that just really helps them in elections. The more the more Islam is a threat in India, the more Hindu nationalists can use that as a way to get votes. Uh, BJ is saying it is uh, it is treating females as property, hurt the men by raping their women. Yeah, exactly. Like because exactly, Bij. It's very interesting because even um, and a lot of Muslims do this as well. Like a lot of the threats I get is towards, oh, we're gonna come your wife, uh, find your wife and rape your wife. Like as if like like they don't you know. It's just like they go after your property and trying to damage your property like something you, you know it's, it's so weird and also when they uh, when they keep mentioning like their vagina their vagina because they they have they have this attitude as if the the only thing that matters about a woman is her vagina right so when they say right. like destroy her vagina because they think like it's amazing that this is coming from a woman because their mentality is that a woman is nothing without her vagina because there's wow. woman is good for two things for sex and making babies and if you take your vagina away from a woman then she's as good as dead that's why the, that's why the insult that they want to give to women is just basically uh, destroy their vagina which is yeah uh so Pam is saying i have come across people who are justifying her and supporting her statement disgusting wow um, that's amazing uh Surai is saying exactly armin is like taking advantage of a muslim backlash yes um, Ali, do you want to add anything? Uh, no. Nope. No. By the way, how many fake news accusations are we going to get for this? <laughs> every time no, we wait. post this, like seriously, Hindus are so, you know, every time we post anything, fake news, fake news. And again, they're going to complain like, what? Um, oh, she got expelled. So this is fake news. Like, yeah, we know that we, we are covering the fact that she got expelled. Um, such nonsense. I'm so, um, Anyways, but congratulations to Muslims for not being the, the most sensitive people on the internet anymore. Hindus have <laughs> win the medal. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.